you've all heard of Malaysia, and you know that it's a country in Southeast Asia. The federal constitutional monarchy consists of 13 states and three federal territories, separated by the South China Sea into two regions, Peninsular Malaysia and Borneo's East Malaysia. The country is multi-ethnic and multicultural, so about half the population is ethnically Malay, with minorities of Chinese, Indians, and indigenous people. This wonderful country has developed a master plan for the construction of three artificial islands offshore of Penang Island, connected by an autonomous transport network. Are you interested in what Penang will look like after the completion of this project? You're in the right place to find out. Welcome to the Tech Era channel. We're glad to see you today and talk about this amazing project of the future. Before we start, all you need to do is like and subscribe to our channel. Also, turn on the notification bell for more videos like this. And when everything is done and you're all ready for the video, we can start. The island of Penang on the northwest coast of Malaysia is known for its sandy beaches, the colorful murals of its capital Georgetown, and its fiery street food. In time, it will also be known for three man-made islands that state authorities say are needed to provide housing and economic opportunities for an expanding population, while also generating funds for a modern transport network. The project, called Biodiversity, was born as a government plan Penang 2030 focused on improving the quality of life of the state, family income levels, and civic participation, all with the launch of greener initiatives. Malaysia is building three artificial islands off the coast of Penang, centered around sustainability, biodiversity, and livability, complete with autonomous public transport networks, lots of green spaces, and radical design projects. The vast land reclamation project, which will encompass 1,821 hectares, is being developed by BIG for Penang State Government in collaboration with Rambal and local architect Hijaz. Each island is shaped in the form of a lily pad and will be composed of mixed-use districts that can house up to 18,000 residents each, as well as beaches, urban wetlands, forests, cultural quarters, technology hubs, 4.6 kilometers of public beaches, 242 hectares of park, and a 25-kilometer-long waterfront. It's a car-free environment where each district is connected by land, water, and air-based autonomous public transport networks, as well as cycle lanes and elevated boardwalks for pedestrians. The islands will be powered by renewable energy, while the buildings will be constructed from bamboo and Malaysian timber, as well as recycled materials. A web of ecological corridors will connect forest reserves to coastal beaches, and in residential and business areas, animals and aquatic life will be provided with the safe passage, free from human interference, through continuous canopy and waterways that run through and around the islands. It's not yet clear when biodiversity will be up and running, but the project is part of the Penang 2030 vision, a government-led initiative that is focused on enhancing Malaysia's life, ability, economy, and the environment through sustainable projects and development. Let's introduce you to the future islands. The first island in the master plan is called Channels. This will comprise the Civic Heart, an area for government and research institutions, and the Cultural Coast District that will resemble Penang State Capital, Georgetown. At the heart of the island will be a 200-hectare digital park which will invite locals and guests to explore the world of technology, robotics, and virtual reality. Mangroves are the second and central island of biodiversity, which will be dedicated to business-focused districts. At its center will be the Bamboo Beacon, a facility for conferences and major events. Here, districts will be organized around a network of urban wetlands and mangrove forests. The final island, named the Laguna, is described as a miniature archipelago and will be composed of eight smaller islands organized around a central marina. It comprises floating, stilted, and terraced housing for residents, and will also provide spawning grounds for aquatic life to help develop new marine habits. But the project has pitted the government and businesses against fishermen and environmentalists who say it will wreck the lives of residents and damage the coast. The area is rich in prawns and fish. If you build islands, what we will see is permanent environmental degradation, said Mahadi Midrozi, chairman of the Penang Fishermen's Association, which represents about 6,000 fishermen. Fishermen have been told to upskill or get another job, but many of us are born fishermen and depend on the sea to live. 
The proposed compensation from the state is too insufficient for something that will affect our livelihoods forever. Many fishermen have rejected the 20,000 ringgit, $4,950 compensation offered, as well as the environmental impact assessment report, which conservationists say does not reflect the potential damage or propose adequate mitigation measures. It seems we've reached the end of the video. Did you like it? If you did, click like. Feel free to leave a comment or your opinion or criticisms about this video in the comment section below. To always be notified when a new video is ready, you should turn on the notification and subscribe to our channel. We hope you enjoyed this day with us. Soon we'll be together again and watch a new video. Have a nice day.